December 13th, St. Lucy, Virgin and Martyr. The glorious Virgin and Martyr St. Lucy, one of the brightest ornaments of the Church of Sicily, was born of honorable and wealthy parents in the city of Syracusa and educated from her cradle in the faith of Christ. She lost her father in infancy, but her mother took singular care to furnish her with tender and sublime sentiments of piety and religion. St. Lucy, from a young age, had already offered her virginity to God and refused to marry. Her mother, not knowing this, pressed her to accept the offer of marriage from a young pagan man. Her mother, being afflicted with an issue of blood for many years, of which all human remedies were ineffectual, Lucy reminded her mother that a woman in the gospel, suffering from the same disorder, had been healed by the divine power. They determined to make a journey to the tomb of St. Agatha, who was martyred in the year 251, which was already a site of pilgrimage. St. Agatha, Lucy said, stands over the sight of him for whom she died. Only touch her sepulchre with faith and you will be healed. St. Lucy and her mother spent an entire night praying by the tomb until, overcome by weariness, both fell asleep. St. Agatha appeared in a vision to St. Lucy and, addressing her sister in faith, foretold her mother's recovery and Lucy's future martyrdom. You will soon be the glory of Syracusa as I am of Cantania. At that instant the cure was effected, and in her gratitude the mother allowed her daughter to distribute her wealth among the poor and to conserve her virginity. The young man who had sought her hand in marriage denounced her as a Christian during the persecution of Diocletian. Lucy was ordered to offer incense to the idols, but at her refusal her enemies tried to take her to a brothel for defilement. This proved impossible as she became so heavy she could not be moved. The exasperated prefect gave orders to attach her by cords to harness bulls, but the bulls too did not succeed. He thence accused her of being a magician. How can you, a feeble woman, triumph over a thousand men? She replied, Bring ten thousand, and they will not be able to combat against God. A fire was then kindled around her as she was covered with resin and oil, but she did not burn, and no harm became her. Finally, when a sword was plunged into her throat, the promise made at the tomb of St. Agatha was fulfilled. As she died, St. Lucy predicted peace for the church. St. Lucy is portrayed holding a pair of eyes on a platter. Some accounts say her eyes were plucked out by torturers, others that she gouged them out herself to discourage a suitor who she had the eyes sent to. It is also said that the saint's eyes returned to her when she was laid to rest as beautiful as ever. In any case, she is particularly invoked for ailments of the eyes or eyesight problems. St. Lucy, your beautiful name signifies light. By the light of faith which God bestowed upon you, increase and preserve this light in my soul so that I may avoid evil. Be zealous in the performance of good works and abhor nothing so much as the blindness and darkness of evil and sin. By your intercession with God, obtain for me perfect vision from my bodily eyes and the grace to use them for god's greater honor and glory and the salvation of all men saint lucy virgin and martyr hear my prayers and obtain my petitions amen